The next time you buy that Granny Smith apple or that grass-fed steak, you'll likely be paying more. With a severe drought impacting farms across western states, yields are down and prices are going up. We should be getting more local mushrooms in, um, mostly from Mendocino. But because there's no rain, the chanterelles are coming from Europe. They can get as low as $9 a pound when it's a good year. Right now they're $45 a pound. Everything from nuts to melons to greens, all grown in California's dry Central Valley, are being affected. But the hardest hit food industry right now may be cattle. So you're seeing dairy production down. You're seeing people having to cull their herds, specifically cattle. Um, this will impact not only the cost of grass-fed beef, um, but there will likely be no 100% grass-fed beef available from California this year. Any price with that? There's plenty of anxiety about the rising food prices at this food truck park where owners are contemplating cutting already small profit margins or passing the rising food cost on to customers. Are we going to have to cut down on some of the wages, get rid of people, or are we going to bring the prices up and are customers then going to think that it's too expensive for them to come back and visit us? I mean, it's something that you got to really think about. Food industry analyst Phil Lambert says for every $100 you usually spend at the grocery store, you can now expect to pay at least an extra 10 bucks at the checkout, with food prices continuing to increase if the drought gets worse. Haven Daily, Associated Press, San Francisco.